Okay, so I have a problem here. Rewrite this statement as a single logarithm. One half log of k plus one third log of x. And notice that there are two uh, logarithms here, log of k, log of x, and what I'm trying to do is combine them together into a statement that uses only one logarithm. And so to do that, we're going to have to make use of our properties of logarithms. Okay, just as a quick reminder, we have the product rule, which says that if you have a log of x times y, you can separate it into a log of x plus log of y. If you have a log of x divided by y, it becomes log of x minus log of y. And a power rule, which says that if you have a log of x to the y power, then you can bring the exponent out to the front. And when, when it says to rewrite the, this as a single logarithm, what we really asked to do is to work backwards, is to have a log statement that looks like this, and work backwards so that you have a log statement that uses only one logarithm. So first thing that I, I'm going to do here, if you notice, there's um, constants in front of the log, one half times log of k, one third times log of x. So I'm going to apply the power rule. Okay, move this aside. So this will become log of k to the one half plus log of x to the one third. Okay. So this is the uh, this is applying the power rule. And I'm almost done. I've gotten, I've gotten rid of all the constants in front, and now I can just try to condense them together. And to do this, I am going to have to apply my uh, product rule, where I have the the where I have um, log of x plus log of y, and I combine it together to get log of x times y. Okay. So to do that here, combine them together, you have log of k to the one-third times x. Whoops, that should be k to the one-half. Let's correct that. Times uh, x to the one-third. And there you have it. We're done. We've just converted this into a single uh, log statement. Okay, for this next example, we're still asked to re combine this as a single logarithm. The only thing that's a little bit different here is that uh, we have just a more complicated statement. So we have some powers in here, uh, we have uh, some powers on this side, and we have four different variables. But the rules that we apply are still the same. The power rule, the quotient rule, and, and the product rule. Okay, And again, my general idea is when I'm combining them or condensing them into a single logarithm, what I want to try and do is somehow uh, get rid of all the constants in front first. Okay, so that's that's applying the power rule here. So this becomes the natural log of x to the fourth times y. Okay, and this four right here becomes the exponent, and I have to be careful when I have a, uh, a combination like this, when it's already log of, of something times something else, because this power applies to the entire expression that goes inside of the, uh, the log statement. Okay. And same thing over here, this becomes plus the natural log of wx to the third, and this two becomes the power. So wx to the third, to the second power. So now it's just a matter of uh, using laws of exponents here. So this becomes a natural log of x to the 16th, y to the fourth. So it's multiplying these exponents, four times four, four times one, plus the natural log of w to the second, x to the sixth. So I've gotten rid of all the constants in front, and now when I have a log plus another log, uh, that's 
a good indication that I need to use the product rule. So this be so I can take the expressions inside and just multiply them all together. So this becomes the natural log of x to the sixteenth, y to the fourth, times w squared x to the sixth. Okay. And one thing that we can do to simplify this a step further is notice I have x to the sixteenth and x to the sixth, and these are all being multiplied inside the log statement inside of the logarithm so I can combine those two together and I get x to the 22nd y to the fourth and there you have it this entire statement is now condensed down to a single logarithm